Hey guys, let's talk about how to control a projector with your phone. As you can see here, I have my projector and here's my phone. That's an iPhone. And as you can see back there, I can just use the remote control and control my projector, okay? So if you have an iPhone, you can use that way. And also works with Android phones. If you have a Samsung phone, any Android phone, it's going to work as well. You see back there that I'm controlling using the buttons here and it works pretty fine as well. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to do it with Android phone and also with iPhones. Let's say, for example, you just lost your remote control. I have here a remote control for this projector, which is uh, HY300, okay? But it also works with different projectors. In this case, it's just an HY300 or a MagQ, because you can see back there on the screen. So it works pretty fine. If you lost the projector, you can start with a mouse. I here have a, a Bluetooth mouse. Then I can have access to the projector as well using the mouse. So three ways, right? Using an Android device, an iPhone, and also a mouse. So starting with the mouse, you just need to use this dongle here. Let me just show you here that I have this dongle that connects to the mouse. You just need to plug it here and it starts working right away, okay? You see here on the screen, I'm using the mouse right now and I can just control everything. So I can, I come here to settings and Bluetooth. I need the mouse for that. If, if you lost your remote control, you're gonna use the mouse to just come here and enable the Bluetooth and find your devices. You see here that I have the projector paired uh, with my Echo Dot, with my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, that's my Android device, and also with my iPhone. That's why I can use the apps so let me just show you which app I'm using here. That's an iPhone. In here, just come back. You see that I'm using this app here, the Trans Screen. Okay. So to have this app, you just need to come here to your store. Let me just come here to App Store and look for this one. Okay. Trans Screen. Let me just show you the details so you get the correct one. And I thought tap here, open, that's the one, okay? And uh, when you come back here, see the main screen is this one. And you see that I have my phone connected, right? To the projector. Let me just disconnect here. So that's what you see when the phone finds the projector. So super, super simple. I'm gonna undo everything here and start fresh so you see how it works. But basically I'm just showing which is the app and also that I have uh, back there, you see, that I have my phone connected to the projector via Bluetooth, okay? So super, super simple. Back here to the iPhone, when I come here to the Bluetooth settings, you're gonna look for the devices here. You see that I have the HY300 Pro connected. Super, super simple. So just go to your Bluetooth settings and connect your projector. Let me just come here and disconnect so you see how it works. So forget device, this device. There we go. Then we just start fresh. I'm just come here to the projector as well and come here to iPhone that's paired and unpair. So let's say you just start fresh. That's the first time that you're trying to connect your phone. You just grab your mouse, come here to settings and Bluetooth. And here you don't see your phone yet. And then you're gonna search for a Bluetooth device, right? Just click here, come here to your phone, get to the Bluetooth screen here. Again, you just need to come here to the settings and look for Bluetooth, right? And just come back here, see if settings, Bluetooth, there we go. And here you see that you can just look for the device available. There we go. So the phone can find the projector because I'm in the screen there. As long as I'm here on the screen with the projector, it's going to be findable. So searchable, right? So just tap, tap here, wait for it to connect. There we go. It's no longer here because it's just, you see there's a chime to show that's connected now. There we go. As long as you have it connected, just grab your app here, Transcreen, install it, open it up, 
and it's going to find it here. Just refresh here, going to look for the projector, it finds it, you just connect, and it's done. Super, super simple. And then here you can use different things. Start casting, use uh, photo, audio, video, mirror control, and remote. Here's the remote. You see that I have mouse, touch, button, and apps. I just like to use button here. You can also control the volume. Let me just tap here, see that I'm controlling the volume back there. There we go. You see the white part there, the volume. I'm controlling, still tapping here on the phone and controlling the volume. Okay, so pretty good. Here on buttons, we have this one that we can control. Here we can just come back, come back again, come to home and start controlling everything from here. Let's say you wanna go to Netflix and just come here and select Netflix. Then when you hit okay, it's going to load Netflix. Super, super simple back to home and it's working okay that's the way you can use with um, an iphone with the android device it's basically the same here's an android that's the app let me just show you which one i'm using here uh, that's the one here bluetooth remote okay let me just come back here to the Play Store, in here, I'm gonna type, uh, type this to find it. Bluetooth, remote, and mouse. Just type like this. Then I'm gonna find it. That's the one, you see here. Let me just get into the details. There we go. Here is the developer. Then just make sure that you get the correct one. Open it up, and then when you open it up for the first time, you're not going to see anything working yet because you need to connect here. You need to come here and find your device. You see, there's a lot of device. So basically, the app is scanning and looking for the device. I have here the HY300. That's because I have um, paired already with the Bluetooth, okay? So what you have to do, right, with your phone here, it's just come to the Bluetooth settings. Here you see Wi-Fi, connection, Bluetooth. There we go, Bluetooth on. And find your HY300. Remember that I need to come here to settings. Bluetooth, let me just unpair here. I have it paired already. Let's unpair. Let's say you just start fresh, you come here. Then you come here to your device. So let me just unpair here as well. Then we start fresh, okay? So have it open there. And then here you see the available devices. It's just right here. The phone finds it because I have the screen there opened. Just remember to let the, the screen there open, right? Then I just pair here, wait for it to connect. Say so couldn't connect, some error here or something. Keep trying, right? There we go, pair, there we go. Now, hit okay. Pair. I hear a chime from the projector itself. And then when I come back there, you see Galaxy S8 paired. So it's working. Okay, just install the app. Blue remote, Bluetooth remote. That's the one. Then when you come here, you look for your device. Tap on it and come here and hit connect. You see, it connects to the device and then you can start controlling. Here you have the back button. Take a look at there. I'm controlling already. Right? Let me just come back here. Let's see if the home works. It works with home. And just come down here and go to YouTube. Where am I right now? There, there. There, YouTube, there we go. We can even uh, turn on and turn off the projector from here. I'm just testing this one, I didn't know. Powering it off, you see, shutting down. So pretty interesting, okay? Let me just power it back here. 
sorry guys, I was just testing here. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with your projector here. Just using your remote control. So basically it does everything. I was testing here the search, it works. You need to, to type uh, to search here and then reflect there with the other application you're using, like YouTube or something. And it works pretty fine, okay? See that it can mute the device. And guys, I'm using this HY300 and back there you can see mine is the Magic Cube. There are different version of the projector, but this one is the Magic Cube, right? Let me see if it, I'm just come back here, it's working already. I think it takes some time to get working again. Just hit uh, connection here and connect. There we go, it's working. Working again, YouTube. There we go. Working, okay? So you can just have some fun with your projector here using your phone, right? Guys, it's a long video, but I hope this helps. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone, an Android, or just a mouse, you can't control your projector, okay? That way, if you lost your remote control, you can have it working again. I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next video.